I was recently having a lot of problems with getting bubbles inside my reservoirs. And uh, not knowing what to do, I called the Minimed 24-hour hotline. And I'm happy to demonstrate for you what I learned from them. And this has really worked to, to get rid of my bubble problem. Even though, you know, no matter what you do before you hook up your reservoir to your infusion um, tubing, if you make sure that you've knocked all the bubbles out and, and you know that there's no bubbles and when you hook it up and after a while you still end up with bubbles inside your reservoir, well, here's a little trick that might be able to help you. Usually, when you fill up a reservoir, they tell you to put the air in the reservoir first and then inject it into the vial. Well, this method, you must do exactly the opposite. Instead of putting air into the vial, you have to remove the air out of the vial. This method is called degassing the vial. And so, you make sure that the plunger is all the way into the reservoir, and then you will put it into the vial and pull out just the air now, okay? So we're not turning the vial upside down, we're not going to remove the insulin yet. You have to pull the air out. Now this may be hard to do, it may pull it back in, but if you have too much air in your vial, you'll be able to pull this out easily and remove the air, just like so. Hold that plunger up now, because you want that air to come out of the vial. And you'll do this a few times until all the air, all the extra air, has been removed out of your vial. So. I'm going to practice this with an empty bottle since I've already degassed my insulin vial. Push the plunger down, put it on top of the vial while it's still standing up on the table, and then pull the air out. While that plunger is still up, and you want to hold it if it's going to try to pull down, so hold it up. Don't pull it out too much like I just did. And then remove the vial from the needle here. And then push out the air. Do it again. You're going to do this a few times. Remove the air from the vial. Pull that off of the bottle, push the air out. So it may take a few times for you to get this until finally you've gotten enough air out of the vial. So once you've done this and you think you've gotten enough air where it's becoming kind of hard to pull it up and it keeps sucking it back down, once you've done that, you're going to let that vial sit on the table, don't touch it now, for at least 10 minutes or so until those little bubbles that are tiny little left ones in there gets to settle out and they'll be gone for good. Yep, they'll be pretty much gone for good. So after that's been sitting there for 10 minutes, then you can grab your insulin vial and when you're ready to fill your reservoir for real now, you go ahead with your normal procedure. Only pulling in as much air as you need for your reservoir dose. Say if you're only going to fill up your reservoir to 200 units, then you'd only pull in as much air as you need. If you're going to fill it up all the way, then go ahead and fill it up all the way with the air and then inject it into that vial. See? It's going to pull it down by itself because that's all the air that it needs.
and then you can go ahead and turn your file upside down and finish filling your reservoir by pulling down on that plunger. Now it's going to be hard to do a little bit if you haven't gotten just exactly enough air in there. So it's going to be pulling down until you've got your reservoir full to where you want it to be. You're going to have to hold on to that plunger now so that it doesn't get sucked back in because you don't have enough air in that vial. So, and then when you've got that done, the first thing you want to do is pull off the reservoir from the filler needle. So, twist and off it goes. And now that's going to suck the air right back in there. But your reservoir won't have any more bubbles. So try this out and maybe it'll work for you. And if it doesn't, you might want to contact the company and you might have some bad cartridges. Good luck with that. Hope it works out.